Hello Year 9 and welcome to a little video giving you a bit of a hand with a question or two from the practice test and probably we'll get something like that in the real test so we better have a look. Exercise 5A5 indices. Now very easy when you know. So I'm going to just have a look at a couple from each one of these to see what they're after. So starting with question one. I'm going to go with one part B. Now remember please positive index. Uh, so expressing whatever's there with a positive index. At the moment 5 to the power of negative 7 is a negative index. Negative indice. Now very simply all you do as soon as you see that negative indice, negative index, that becomes the reciprocal or 1 over 5 and then this negative indice becomes a positive one. 1 over 5 to the power of 7. That is the same as that. So that's what you do expressing as a positive that becomes a reciprocal and then as soon as you do that you raise it to the that power becomes positive and then you're done one uh, and then the same with using the algebra part g n to the negative three so as soon as you see that reciprocal and raise it to the positive power. That's your answer. 1 L OK 1 K. That'll do. Uh, y to the power of negative D expressed as a positive index reciprocal first 1 over Y to the power of D. So that's what you do with question one. Question two. We're doing answers in fraction form. Okay. Let's go to a in fraction form. So three to the negative two inverse positive power but they want it in fraction form so I'm going with the fact that 3 squared equals 9 1 over 9 oh, tidy that up 1 over 9 uh, let's go L Why 2L 9 to the negative 4 uh, in the fraction form, yep, 1 over 9 to the power of 4 and they'll want it in uh, nine to the power of 4. Oops. Six five six one. One over. Six five six one. Okay, so question two. So you put it in the reciprocal, then you find out what the that indice equals. Three. Okay, this time we're going for the negative index. So the reverse of what happens in question one. Let's go three a three f and 3k okay 3a 1 over n squared equals n to the negative 2 if you look that's the reverse of what's happening back here in question 1 that's reciprocal that and back in the negative indice 
f2 over a to the 4. Okay, well the first part, the negative intrinsic part is a to the negative 4. That covers that, but it's 2 times that. Uh, be careful of those ones. The denominator express with a to the negative 4, and 2 on top means it's 2 times that. Same with k, I think. Yep. Minus 2 over w to the power of 5. I will deal with this one first. It's w to the power of negative 5, and minus 2 times that. That's question three. And let's go with four. Let's do uh, four. That looks tricky. Let's try O. And let's have a look at U. So I should do an easy one. There's 2O and 2B. There we are. What have we got to do this time? Positive indices. Okay. What's O say? 12X negative 2 times Y to the negative 3. Okay. Now let's deal with this part first. That's 1 on x squared, and y cubed, because you're multiplying you can put them in the same denominator, that's not too hard. So that becomes this, and that's 1 over y cubed, and it's 12 times that. There you go, that's 4 over. Positive index and b, 2, b to the minus 5. We'll do the b to the minus 5 first. That's 1 over b to the power of 5. But then it's 2 times that. So that becomes 2. Okay, question 5. 5a, 5j, 5l. 2 over 7 to the power of minus 1. This is combining a couple of laws. Um, might need a bit more space. Okay, let's do a bit more space. I'm going to get a bit more space. Okay, 5a. So negative indicing means it's reciprocal. And the power applies to the numerator and the denominator. 7 over 1, 2 over 1. Yep, so in the brackets, the power, negative power applies to everything inside the bracket. So reciprocal. You don't need the ones. That's the answer to that one. 5a. What's the other one? I think what the other one was. Let's try um, 5, 5j. Reciprocal. Done. And so you get the idea. Negative power of negative one. All you need to worry about is the fact that it's a reciprocal. K two over three z to the power of negative one. Reciprocal. Upside down. It's a z. Yep, three z over two. Done. Thank you, everyone.